Whoever is out on bail. Don't you just love due process? What about Adam and Tina? Connors is working on the warrants. The judge is a bit of a stickler in regards to probable cause. And there's nothing we can do to push it along. I guess we just have to wait. Well, I need a break. Dinner? If you don't mind, I think I'll stay here. Are you sure you don't mind if we leave you alone? Are you kidding? I'm this close to finding out who done it. We'll bring you something back. you out. You present a real danger to me. I'm not sure that I believe this psychic stuff. I mean, I'm as spiritual as the next person, but even I have my limits. Either way, can't have you opening your mouth like you have been doing. I thought you might try to track Emily down. You waited until she was alone. I would stay back if you care about your little friend. You're not going to inject her with that air bubble, Tina. When you did it to Debbie, you didn't have any witnesses. Why would I kill Debbie? When Debbie was in the infirmary being treated for a sprained ankle, she saw something she shouldn't have. Most likely it was an implant Dr. Drummond's was preparing to use. Debbie was a nurse. She was familiar with medical supplies. And she knew that FDA-approved implants were imprinted with serial numbers. When she didn't see that serial number, she realized that you were using bogus implants. And when she threatened to expose you and Dr. Drummond, you killed her for it. When I told you about Emily's vision of a series of numbers, which of course relates to the offshore account, I knew that whoever killed Debbie would come after Emily before she had a chance to come up with the rest of the numbers. That's just ridiculous. Killing Debbie was your idea, wasn't it, Tina? Dr. Drummond's just went along. Drummond's is a fool. He's no killer. God, he actually believes he's helping people. He has no idea how much money we have stashed away. So at heart, he's a humanitarian. Aren't we all? Kinsey, nice job. 